Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. It is Death Metal Tape Tuesday. I, I almost forgot what day of the week it was. <laughs> um, and I am going to get through the S's today. So I actually got about seven new tapes in the mail in the last couple of days. Um, and I was going to show them off on this video because they're all letters that I've already talked through. However, it's going to spoil some of the collection updates I am planning to release this week and next week. So i um, not going to show them in this video today, um, but eventually I'll probably put them into another video just in case people didn't see the collection updates. So, all right, let's get started. Uh, the first band that I have uh, currently to show is uh, Stabbed with Deflushed by Reptiles. Uh, so this is uh, the Maggot Stomp um, demo that was released last year. Uh, this is a band out of New York, a brutal death metal band, as you can see. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I mean, this is really good. It's, I was really impressed by this. I was happy that I bought it. Um, I know that when this first came out, it sold out pretty quick um, and it was hard to find for a while and people were snatching it as soon as it became available in random places. Uh, just amazing artwork. <laughs> um, and now I think it's actually easy to find. I think there's been a couple of maybe a repress i'm not really sure but i've seen them floating around now so if you're on the hunt for this um definitely check all the known you know distros that carry death metal um yeah i it's really good um i was really impressed by this so i'm excited to have a little bit more more music dropped by them i admittedly i don't know if they're working on anything new right now i i didn't look into it but yeah really good if you haven't heard this yet um and it's gore brutal death metal as you can see by the cover <laughs> Uh, next up is Sarcophagus with Invoking Paranoia. Uh, this is their, uh, I don't remember which one this is. Is this their the one? Oh yeah, it's their first demo. Sorry. They came out with a two song promo uh, last year as well on Maggot Stomp, but this is their first demo that was released on Life After Death. Um, death Metal, uh, really, really good. Uh, cool tape. Um, I don't really know a whole much about them outside of the fact that they're from Ohio. Uh, Ohio death metal scene is just blowing up. A lot of great bands coming out of Ohio lately. Um, and yeah, really good. Uh, I think this is a repress that I have. Um, there's been a couple of other uh, variants floating around. I think there's like a red cover and stuff like that too. Um, but yeah, I saw this... Uh, I don't remember where I got this from. It wasn't off of Life After Death because uh, it was sold out there. Um, I don't know. I saw it on a distro somewhere, so I, I snagged it. It might have been Scum Lord. I, I can't remember, honestly. But yeah, really good. Um, and then they have a two-song promo that is out on Maggot Stop that was released last year. Uh, that is also really good, but I do not have that tape. So I'm, I am I think that's sold out everywhere, too. So, But I think these still might be floating around. Um, the last I checked recently um, for somebody who was asking where to get it, I couldn't find them available anywhere. So th this might be a tough one uh, to find. So... All right, next up is a band from Denmark, and it is a really good death doom metal band. Um, I would say they're more, they definitely got a lot more doom elements to it. Uh, they're considered just a death metal band, but they definitely have doom elements to it. Um, anyway, this is Sulfurous. Uh, this is a compilation of an EP that was released on, I'm looking at my notes because I can't remember what year it was released, uh, 2017. And then this is also an EP that was released this year. Um, so this year was Encircling Darkness, uh, and then 2017 is Abomination Temple. So this is a compilation that was put out on Desiccated Productions, which is, um, I believe they're also in Denmark. Uh, they have really, really good, uh, releases on their Bandcamp, um, and I've bought several things from them. Uh, shipping was decent. It wasn't horrible. Uh, it just took a while to get here. That's it. But um, I got the Hyperdontia and Mortiferum split from them and a couple of other things. So yeah, uh, this is really good. Um, I admittedly don't know a whole lot about this band other than that they're from Denmark. Uh, they've been around for a while now um, and they only have one full length out, uh, which came out a couple of years ago. So I'm actually going to try and get that. I think I've seen that floating around places. So, but really really good um and i'm starting to see this pop up in places too and people talking about it which makes me happy next up is this needs no introduction and <laughs> this is going everywhere on youtube i've noticed a lot of people talking about this this is 
the new seep ep souvenirs of a necrosadist um actually this came out last year so it's it's not like new new um so if you're not familiar the the main man behind seep uh vomitus is also the owner of gurgling gore and he is also the singer of internal infestation so this is the dawn breed records repress that recently just came out i unfortunately don't have the gurgling gore version uh which is piss yellow <laughs> uh, but this is a really nice green tape um, I love the all over print aesthetics um, and then obviously the incredible artwork I love I love just I love the green with this so I'm glad that I got this version uh, but the other version that was out too on Gurgling Gore is really cool so that's the main man right there <laughs> Vominous um, so this is an incredible EP. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite ones to come out uh, within recent years. I listen to it a lot still since I've gotten it um, and since it's come out last year. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's four songs on here. Every single song, or sorry, there's three songs on here. Every single song is really, really good. Um, Boiled and Piss is obviously my favorite song. Uh, I do find myself singing that often, uh, which is funny <laughs> to think about. Um, but Flem Burial and New Seven Trails is also incredible. So yeah, I, this is a really good project. Um, I, I do hope he releases more music by it, but you know, he's probably got a lot of other stuff that he's dealing with right now. Like his Gurgling Gore has been pump, punching, pushing out releases nonstop this year. So, and then Internal Infestation. So yeah, this is really good. Um, as far as I know, it says all songs uh, were written and recorded, including guitars, drums, and vocals by Vomitus, and then the bass work was done by somebody named Meat Sack. Um, I heard a couple other people on YouTube say that it was a drum machine. Uh, I honestly don't have the ear to know if it's a drum machine or, it's, or if it's a real drummer. I'm just not going to pretend to be some pro at that, so I can't tell. And I don't think it ruins anything, um, but other people have mentioned that they can't get past it. Whatever, I think it's good. So check this out if you have not yet. Um, I'm pretty sure these tapes are completely sold out, but you can still get the digital download of Bandcamp and there's still some patches available, which I have right there. Eh, whatever, you see it back there. Um, really, really good. All right, so next is, Sepulchral Curse, and this is their first ever EP that was released on Transylvania Recordings, A Birth in Death. So if you're not familiar, this band is from uh, um, Finland. There we go. Um, and they had a release last year on Transcending Obscurity uh, called Only Ashes Remain. Amazing release. This band is so good. Um, they also have members of Solothus in here. I think Kari is the, the one main guy that's in Solothus. Uh, let me just check really quick. Yes, Kari is the main guy in Solothus too. So uh, just a nice black pro printed tape. Um, and yeah, I think these probably might be sold out now, but when I saw it on Transcending, or sorry, Transylvanian Recordings uh, page, I bought it as fast as I could because I absolutely love this band. Uh, so really good stuff. This is a really good EP. Um, yeah, their new release is so good. If you have not heard that yet, please go check it out. Um, I think I've showed like my vinyl and stuff like that in here a couple times on this channel um, and I talk a lot about these guys so yeah uh, I'll be really happy when they release new music and again Solo This is also really good so check them out if you have not. Next up is another <laughs> brutal death metal band. Um, yeah I mean <laughs> Septage do they really need any other introdu introduction? Uh, this is their only release and this is a demo that was released last year. Um, I have the Steel and Bone Productions version, which is just the plain white pro printed tape with red lettering. Um, and I know that they've recently repressed these again on tape. Uh, there's a couple of versions out now and I've seen them on distros and stuff. There's also a seven inch vinyl, but I opted to get the tape. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a big seven inch fan. So uh, this is really good. I mean, it's, it's gore death metal. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of a grind in there too, grind sounding in there, but yeah, just really good stuff. Um, and I'm excited for these guys to release more music. I, I, this is one of those Instagram pages that I continually look at to see if they've made any release information or anything like that, because again, this is the only thing they have out right now. So, uh, I'll be excited when they release more music. Next up is a band from Canada and I've talked about these guys 
so many times, uh, and that is Sentimentum with their demo that came out. I think this was last year. I, I remember now. Uh, I, this is the Hostile Records version that I've shown on here. I talked about how I was so happy to get this. Um, again, they came out with a split with Phobophilic, which is also incredible, called Horrific Manifestations. Um, yeah, I mean, Sedimentum is so good. Uh, the hype is definitely real around this. Um, this is one of those tapes I will never sell <laughs> or get rid of, unless for some reason I manage to stumble upon another copy of it. Uh, but yeah, this has been incredibly hard to get. Um, and I did just see that they released a couple of them. The band themselves released a couple of these on their band camp yesterday. Um, and I have not checked to see if they sold out again. I, I thought about going and buying another one so I can do a, a giveaway with it. Um, so I'm going to actually go do that uh, after I'm done recording this to see. So yeah, good stuff. Amazing band. Excited for these guys to release more music. And yeah, again, they're from Canada. So really, really good. And then finally, uh, for today's video is a band that I absolutely love. Um, one of their members is a partial owner of Sewer Rot Records, uh, Frank, and that is Soul Development with Eternal Perdition. Uh, this is one of the bands that is on the new four-way split that is coming out in a couple of weeks, I think next week. I think it's next week. Yeah. Um, Blood Harvest, Rotted Life, um, Sewer Rot, tapes, vinyls, and I think there's eventually going to be CDs released. So this is the Burning Coffin Records version that I got off of Life After Death's distro. Um, I've been wanting this for a while. It's been sold out on Sewer Rot forever. Um, and I know that, um, I know that uh, Hostel Records has a version of this, but again, uh, the shipping to get it is, is insane. And I think Malaysia is still having some issues with shipping stuff to the US. So I waited it out and I finally was able to get one as soon as I saw it pop up on Life After That's Distro. So really, really good, really good. This actually just turned a year old recently. Um, and their new song on the four-way split is also really good, really good death metal band with some of the doom elements in, involved with their music so really really good stuff if you have not checked out soul devourment yet please do so <laughs> this is one of my current uh favorite bands at the moment uh in terms of modern death metal so i've got quite a bit of those and i might actually do a video on a couple of uh, pretty much saying like what my favorite modern death metal bands are at the moment so really really good um so that's it for death metal tape tuesday um i have a bunch of new stuff to show off i got a bunch of new vinyl yesterday a ton of tapes a ton of cds i'm getting stuff today so i will have a collection update today as well um and then i probably won't post another collection update until next week i'm gonna try and spread it out so i have more content um and that's all i have thank you so much for all of your support um again still blown away the fact that i made over 400 subscribers already um it still blows my mind um and if you haven't yet check out the new becerus or becerus that came out on everlasting spew i did a um a review on it yesterday um, i realized the audio in the beginning of the video is incredibly high and then my audio is really low i'm learning digital editing <laughs> i'm working with what i have which is basically iMovie on my macbook uh so maybe someday if i get big enough i'll get a digital editor but for now i'm learning and, and so yeah apologies on that um if i can fix the audio on that video because i think youtube has some sort of editor too then i'll try and figure it out today but for the most part hopefully you guys watched that and checked out the band it's really it's a it's a fun album and, and I, i've really enjoyed it so far thank you guys and have a great tuesday